Good evening, you're watching ISTV News at 7 and these are the headlines. Chief Minister Enbirin's speech at Madhapur was an attempt to distort history to appease his bosses, says former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam. Amid's people's demand for protection of indigenous people, gang of nine non-lockers loot 5 lakh rupees from a shop located in the heart of Imphal City. And three-day Indo Bangla Manipuri Cultural Festival begins in Bangladesh. Now moving on to the news in detail. Reacting for the first time in the wake of Chief Minister N. B. Rain's speech at Madhavpur, Gujarat, which attracted strong criticism in social media, Congress slammed Chief Minister N. B. Rain, saying a leader must know what is sensitive to his people and must also understand what to speak and what not to speak. Addressing a press conference at Congress Bhavan on BG Road, former Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kingham said, Chief Minister's speech was an attempt to distort historical facts in order to to appease his superiors. Had the speech been given by a common man, it might not have had this much of a controversial hype. However, the speech been given by the chief minister, it is apprehensive that the actual facts might get distorted. Guy Kangam added that although no one can become a historian overnight, one must have at least some general history of where he belongs. To err is human, but Chief Minister in Biren should not have the habit of saying anything for the sake of appeasing his leaders. Chief Minister Gujarat, it is nothing but total lies. Uh <laughs> ปัมมสิกตากิกะตะกิจะบะกิงางบะมะมีตายงางบะตุสะตอยมะสิบาระตะมะนิปุรัสสิบาระตะกิปาตะมะนิมะนิปุรีคุยปะมะสิบาระต
स्टेट अम क्रिएट तौर स्टेटस पीरमी अदाय मथंग मथंग मनपुर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन इंडिया मार्च तौर मतदाई एडमिस्ट्रेटिव कन्वीनियस की त्रिपुरा मनपुर मेघालय इंक्लूडिंग मिजोराम स्टेट की स्टेटस पीरपनी मनपुर से स्वाईब है मनपुर से कृष्ण लेरी हो Amidst the intense mass movement for protection of indigenous people, there had been various crimes committed by non-locals in the state. In the latest incident that occurred this morning, a gang of nine non-locals broke into a shop located right in the heart of Imphal City and looted five lakh rupees in cash. The burglary happened at Smart Medicals, a unit of Salai Holdings Private Limited, which is the implementing agency for the Chief Minister's Haksel Gieting Bank. According to the CCTV camera footage, at 4 a.m., the gang of nine non-locals used clothes to screen off the action of breaking the shutter and entering the shop. Inside the shop, the burglars broke open the locks of iron chest and stole a sum of five lakh rupees in cash. What is astonishing is that the non-local burglars stayed in front of the shop till 4:30 a.m., acting innocent while their partners were plundering inside the shop. Even when there was clear sunlight, the burglars carrying airbags on their shoulders stayed there without any fear, as if they were about to travel to some place. After they com completed the burglary, they went on foot towards Nagamapa Road. In connection with the incident, Board of Directors member K. Jananda said, "Report about the burglary was given to the police station concerned in the early morning, but police came only around 3 p.m." Expressing somewhat sudden dissatisfaction over the delay in police arrival. he said if police had come in time it could have been possible to trace the non manipuris and arrest them they had stolen 5 lakh rupees but did not touch any other object he narrated सलाई होल्डिंग प्राइवेट लिमिटेड की यूनिट अमोना स्मार्ट मेडिकोस रेम सोट लेब 
Nan Manipuri map and Sava Gang Kupu, one of Quiggy, Highway Dukana Sidagi, Sutter Sepaka, Quiggy Murundagil Pala, Mangam, Ki, Champa Mogaba, Tongan Tongan, but the six in the Quig Labour, a Quiggy extension points in the shell procedure and Hongal Pala, Mangam, Ki, Champa Machine, as he, uh, Frank given any Highway Gang Kupu, Sima Munusanga Kanda. On the other hand, convener of JC RLPS Students Wing, Manjit Sarangtem, along with other volunteers, came to the shop and took stock of the situation. He told media persons that there had been crimes committed by non manipuris in the past. Transporters should not bring non manipuris without their identity papers. People should not help them in any of their activities when they come to the lands and by lands, he said. Transport Association singer, who took me and Chasing the Nosy to Pusilamatam, who is taxing the cheese and Yoga to Pusilpino, Lunana, Chama Pukuding Buck and Manipur Kuding Buck, Masamasagi, who get Adar or Water ID, proof of Mamam, Jerox, Pai Vida Kanda, record of Vigo to Lenana, Tontamba, who get Barasing, Sandopi, which is now singer, I could get Mapulatana, Baras and Dupino to Lenana, Makatana, who get Lerakulta. Changi ban non Manipur sing, which means Manchas sing say, because Lamdam sing, Yellow Mi sing, masi non cooperation movement, Chacha wo matuk taray do ka hari ban non Manipur sing, masi Lamdam sing tohan tohan wo lalong ke amak chatra kanda kuri kunagi miam da, asung ba aki ba phone na, aku phone na chatra kli wo lalong sing masi koi miam na pun lemin ra kanda ina line pa mi system Lamdam sing chena na makan movement makatan sakshin matuk taray. Three day Indo Bangla Manipuri Cultural Festival has begun yesterday at Manipuri Cultural Complex, the Thai Gown, Adampur Market, in Bangladesh. Finance Minister of Bangladesh, M. A. Manan, Additional Secretary of Ministry of Railway, Sachi Kumar, and Convener of Manipuri Cultural Complex, Langol Jam Jayant Kumar, attended the inaugural function. Thangta folk dance, classical dance, folk song, Pung Wari Liba, and Nokpadi artists under Patriotic Rights Forum Manipur are participating in the festival. Patron member of the forum, Dr. Manauton, said the festival will foster the bond of love between India and Bangladesh. Culture and sports are the pride of Manipur, but the plight of cultural activists and sports persons is enormous. It was fortunate to show our culture representing India in such a festival being held for the first time in Bangladesh. Additional Secretary Sajikuma said, although Manipuri living in Bangladesh who follow the the residence of Manipuri King is very less in its number. They have never backed down. He said the festival will bring the two countries closer. Finance Minister M. A. Manan said Bangladesh will definitely discuss on developing Manipuri cultural complex. He appealed to make sure that the festival is held every year for which Bangladesh government will extend full support. The biggest private company in Manipur, the Salai Holdings Private Limited, has received a certificate from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, allowing it to open a public company. The name of the public company which is going to be opened newly is Salai Pan International Limited. Speaking about the new venture, Vice Chairman of Salai Holdings Private Limited, Nareng Bam Biswajit, told media persons at a press conference held at the conference hall of the company headquarters located at Terra Lokra from Lakai that the Salai Holdings Private Limited has been actively engaged in various enterprises aimed at improving the economy of not only Manipur but also the entire northeastern region. The public company to be opened newly will play a major role in achieving the objective of the Salai group of companies. Describing the objective of the new venture, Biswajit further said, the company needs investment from the public investors in its venture to move forward. Board of Director members of Salai Holdings Private Limited Ron Prakrashi, Mainam Samojit, and Vice Chairman Akoyam Deepa Anand were also present at the press conference. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Karam Sham, today distributed PDS Russian for
for Langtaba Kunja area under National Food Security Act at Moirang Subeda Community Hall. Speaking to media persons, Minister Karam Sham asked why complaints of deprivation of PDS items are arising when the stipulated quantity for everyone was released from the department. It may take time, but the system of not listening to such complaints for personal gain must be changed, and for that, the minister will go extra mile to achieve it. <laughs> In an exclusive interview with ISTV News, Director of Health Services Dr. K. Raju informed that two lakh doses of vaccine have been administered till the fourth day of the month-long measles rubella vaccination program for nine months to 15 years old children that started on march 26. the vaccination program is being successfully carried out in all the districts dr k raju aided that measles vaccination will help prevent measles fever and cough while rubella vaccination will help prevent disabilities congenital heart disease, deaf, blind and cleft lips. There is no report of any side effect of the vaccines. Dr. K. Raju appealed to all the citizens of the state to fully participate in the vaccination program and make it successful and also urged not to spread rumors regarding the vaccination program. <laughs> Karimun na khara gadi, ekoi nine to nine months to fifteen years se kato pigadam ni. Karimun rubella hai sina na khara gadi, mama ubida na khara gadi, masina angangzi complete full time phang yobangam the abortion sagali, ad angangzi pun gasi gali, aduga karim angang pola pun matam deso angangzi swenai gali, hai bhi hat ke anavel levi ay, mana phang bhi ay, mami tam bhi ay, adagi ekoi gii chimban kabi ay, amar maduna. Ya koi ki mizal sur bela vaksin ase se, fajna to birga di masih ki koi ki tunggi ambilin uye kader ba angang cinga se, tingjang kajang dana apa ba angang ama utok pada koi mateng pambiu aina ASTB ki thong da aina perja section kudi makda aina hanna hanna hajari. BJP High School Mandal today organized a one-day booth-level workers tra training program under Rashtriya Prasekshan Abhiyan at Wangkai Kaitel Asangbi Lairak Macha Community Hall. National Vice President of BJP Mahila Mocha A. Sarda, Media Coordinator, BJP Manipur Pradesh El Basanta, President of Imphal Central Division, Umakanta, President of BJP High School Mandal, K. H. Biswamitra attended the training program. National Students Union of India NSUI Manipur State Unit alleged that the education in the country has completely failed and also demanded an inquiry on staff selection commission examinations by CBI. Addressing a press meet held at Congress Bhavan, President B. Bankim Mehta said questions for class 10 and 12 examinations are leaked every year which proves that education system in the country has failed. Ironically, Minister of HRD has never given any clarification on the issue. Now instances of question leak in SCC examinations have also cropped up. Bankim also accused Prime Minister of never fulfilling his promise to provide jobs to two crore youth. Leakages of question paper, assume scams, mayamse, a quay via palm scam, Lairam Badigi, who's the SSC scam, yam town to a. I do not think that a more problem is what to deny that the NNP of the question leak was a lay. Assume Bussi, a quay yam, it's a very alarming situation on the students' community. Good Friday is being celebrated today in Manipur too. Special services were held at churches across the state. Pastor of MBC Center Church, L. Solomon, wished that the day brings peace and harmony and sees all kinds of violence and killing on earth. Also, the differences and opinions among various communities living in the state may forever be removed and prosper together. Manipur Ramdam da Sanalai Baksa Kunai Taminariba, Zad Bizad Kaidana, Maitai. Pangal, Kuki, Naga, Koi Chilna, Koi Kibikse, Chingmi, Tammi, Naitana, Jaan, Bizar, Khaidana. Amana, Amagi, Paap, 
kokpi ngakpi na dana khoi nuksi chana china na pan minasi adu ko kuch samna na amana amagi asoi bu ngakpi ayor ra kokpi na dana khoi nuksi chana china rabdi christian khoi bu sibire habagi acho ba proof to phangjagani Catholic School Local Guardians Association today staged sit-in at the school gate against transfer of principal of Catholic School, Father Sonny Thomas. Guardians Association urged the Bishop House to cancel the order of transfer for the sake of the students of the school. A member of, this, of the association, Narim Jimik, said, First term in examination is round the corner and transferring Father Sonny Thomas, who has been tirelessly working for the development of the school, would hamper the peaceful academic atmosphere. He urged the Bishop House not to transfer Father Sonny Thomas unless works taken up by the Father are not completed yet. <laughs> Stability is a transfer of the Mahiru Singh, the Amuka and Maki study the Akaiba Lakpa. Luna Hoji Catholic School Gay Secondary Upgrade of Pagi Development Sea and Padanatoria Hoji Masigi Upgrade of Pagi the Lady of Hadders, Huni Sigi, Magi Development Sea, Sukmati of Huni Yamatam, the Yam Sintani of Potam Lakpa. Magi Development Sea Ludi Poverty, Hadders Huni Sea School Asidagi, Transport of Huna Tahun Biganu, the Wigiganu. Aduga magi development silo di poverty school is the map principal gay pam de dumpu and bigo haiba, equina midiagi, kutanga, piece of house that appeals away, doja bani hitarisi pamjari bo mayam chinch. The thunderstorm that lashed the valley districts of Manipur last night caused damage to several properties at various places in the valley. According to reports received from ICAR Lumfell, the thunderstorm was recorded at 7 km per hour along with rainfall. The thunderstorm blew away rooftop of some houses, it is reported. The setups and stage for inaugural function of National Handloom Expo at Nilakuti were also damaged badly in the thunderstorm. Bisnupur District Police condoled the untimely demise of SI Royal Sang. Royal Sang passed away during his duty hours. He was last posted at Moirang Police Station. SP Jugesh Chandra along with other top-ranking police officers paid floral tribute to Led Royal Sang. Additional SP as David, SDPO Moirang, O Sukumar, DSP Krishna Tombi, Moirang, OC RK Anil Kumar and many others attended the condolence. A collection of short stories titled Tamoigi Makol, published by Pongnapam Publication, was released at Hotel Classic and North AOC today. The short stories were collected by Chandrakala Foundation, former president of Writers Forum Aribam Kumar, Professor Jodha Chandra Sanasam, Assistant Professor of GP Women's College, K. Hem Chandra introduced the content of the book during the release function. A mini garden was inaugurated at Sadar East Range, Chingmairong. Range officer Ilangbam Home and other forest officers attended the inaugural function. Ilangbam Home said the staffs of the range contributed in whatever way they could to develop the said mini garden. The garden has been developed with the use of empty water bottles and bottles of other soft drinks including juice. The initiative has been taken up with an objective of making the state clean by making use of the empty bottles that are often dumped in rivers and drains by irresponsible citizens. initiative <laughs> An awareness program for differently able persons organized by the All Manipur Handicapped Persons Welfare Association, United Youth Club, Tongam and the Tongam Maira Pai Bees was held at Tongam Community Hall at Kakching. MLA K Ranjit National Awardee Ketri Patrama and many others attended the awareness program. 
In connection with Good Friday, KBC Hauke Wang Imphal East today organized a blood donation camp at Janims. Many members of the KBC Hauke Wang took part in the blood donation camp. Chairman of KBC Hauke Wang, Mang Khan Hauke, said the most valuable gift one can present is life. The blood donation camp was organized with an objective of saving life. A three-day seminar on Thangta and Pijit lighting was, has kicked off at Lamyanba Shanglin Palace Compound today. The seminar was organized by the Thangta Loishang Sanakonung, Vice Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture, Professor N. Kagendra, President of Thangta Loishang Sanakonung, Thingbaijam Ibohan B. Meite, Director of JNM Dance Academy, L. Upendra Sharma, Chairman of State Vision Document, Dr. R. K. Ranjan, and many others attended and the inaugural function of the seminar. Professor N. Kagendra said the traditions of Thangta and others have been vanishing gradually. One can protect his or her own identity by protecting the old culture and tradition. <laughs> Manipuri Kuri Manga, Nishiko Mandanaba, and the Bodhi can want money. I can't get anything to cut it. Seram Paka, aged about 75 of Bamon Lakai Mange Makong, is reported missing since he stepped out of his home on March 28. He is 5 feet 5 inches tall, healthy and has roundish face and fair complexion. He was last seen in blue-black jacket, a pair of black colored trousers and a pair of white colored shoes, it was reported. If anyone happens to come across him or knows his whereabouts, he or she may contact the nearest police station or contact 762-894-7287. Teams of Kolhapur and Maharashtra boys category have entered finals in the ongoing 37th National Junior Coco Championship. The championship is being held at Kangabog Basu ground. In girls category of the championship, teams of Maharashtra and Karnataka are going to lock horns in the finals. DGP of Manipur LM Kaute, IGP Clay Kongsai, DIG K Radhasham, SP Thaubal S Gautam, and former Vice President of State BJP TH Jadumani were among the spectators in the semi final matches held today. A souvenir was also released at the venue of the semi final matches. Now, before we close the headlines once again. Chief Minister N. Biren's speech in Madhapur was an attempt to distort history to appease his bosses, says former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam. Amidst people's demand for protection of indigenous people, gang of nine non-lockers loot 5 lakh rupees from a shop located in the heart of Imphal City. And three-day indoor Bangla Manipuri Cultural Festival begins in Bangladesh. That's all we have in this edition of news. Thank you for watching and good night.